Hello, today we're going to do some painting of glass cabochons. Now some of you that are already subscribed to my channel might have seen some of the um, glass cabochon paintings that I did in the past using cello glitter and nail polish and regular glitter and nail polish glitter. Well, today this is something a little different. What you're going to first need is some, obviously, glass cabochons. And you can find these anywhere uh, at Walmart, Dollar Store, online at Michael's, Hobby Lobby, Joanne's Crafts, or probably anywhere even in a floral area for the floral section because they're usually used for filling vases. But these are the bigger ones. And they're going to be this size, so you can get a, an idea. This is my hand. They're not the tiny ones, they're the bigger ones. And they're not the mirrored ones, the OPEG. These are just clear glass, okay? And they're, keep in mind, they're not always going to be round perfectly. Forgive my nails, I've been crafting. They're cut up, nails are broken, and I've got paint all over them, so they're a bit of a mess. And they're not always going to be perfectly round as you can see some of them are and some of them aren't also you might see a little something imperf imperfection on the back don't worry about that as once you paint it you don't even notice that you don't see it another thing you're going to need if you want to it's an option is a pendant tray this is an old pendant tray i still have some stuff i couldn't scrape up the bottom but a pendant tray this one i got at michael's that comes two to a package for like between six and seven dollars and then you want some glitter and some uh tin foil okay now you can use some cello glitter if you like I already got one started and it's drying on the tin foil, but we're going to put that one aside. This is a quick, easy, and fast DIY, and it won't take much time at all. Get yourself a piece of tin foil. Everybody has this in their home, I'm sure. Okay? And you're going to crumble it up. Now, you're not going to make it into a complete ball, otherwise, you'll never be able to undo it. Let me back up a little. <laughs> You'll never be able to basically undo it. When you think it's pretty scrunched up, gently open it up, okay? And to smooth it out, just get anything, a round jar, a paint roller, or your round, if you have a round nail polish, anything. And just go roll it and kind of smooth it out like that. And just smooth out the section. I don't know if you're getting this. Sorry, it's on my tripod, but I'm trying to make sure you see it. I'm going to roll it to smooth it out. So it should look like that, okay? If you don't like it and it's not crinkly enough, you can move over to the other side and then just smooth it a little. You don't even have to smooth it too much. I'm going to leave it a little more crinkly because I like the texture. But that's why you're doing it. You're doing it for the texture. Okay, and I'm going to show you why in a minute. The next thing you're going to do is get some paints. It doesn't matter. It's a nail polish. You just need nail polish, and you don't need expensive nail polish. You can go to the dollar store, five below. It doesn't have to be expensive nail polish. You could even use paint if you like. But the reason why I suggest nail polish is because with these things, which is a good thing, is that if you get any nail polish on it and you don't like the outcome and you want to redo it, all you have to do is get a paper towel, which you should keep a couple of paper towels by your side over here just to um, clean up. But you just wipe some, oh, wipe it away with a paper towel and use some nail polish remover on it and then wash it with soap and water and then to give it an extra shine get some rubbing alcohol wipe it on there and make sure you hold it like this because you don't want your fingerprint on the back because otherwise when it gets all painted you're going to have your fingerprint so make sure it's all clean on the back so now we have our piece of tin foil 
One side is more textured, one side is smoother. I'm going to use the more textured side because that's what I like. Oops, sorry about that. That's what I like. And I hope you can see this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some paints. I'm going to move this over so I have some working space. And I'm just going to take some of my purple nail polish. And I'm going to kind of put it in the circle to where I'm going to put my cabbage on. And you can use any colors you want, any color combination. You're not going to use just one. So keep in mind you want to have a few different colors and the scheme that you're going to want to paint it. And I like to mix and match colors. A little purple and a little blue. It'll all make sense in the end. Like I said, you pick what kind, and you can pretty much use a lot. You don't have to overglob it, but definitely you want to use enough. I'm going to go in so you can see what I'm doing. So you get a better idea. I think that's enough blue. I'm looking for other colors. I want probably like a red with a little sparkle. Now you want to be careful what kind of nail polishes. Some can be cloudy and you don't want that cloudiness in it. Now I'm going to use a little spot of red. maybe a little black in it just a few spots of it and you can just keep adding and taking away if you don't like your final color go ahead and use another color to go over it it's just nail polish it's not going to be fancy um, let's take some of that dark purple again. And this is a different shade of purple. Similar. Okay, so now I got some of those colors. and I'm going to add a little more red. Like I said, you just add a bunch of combination colors that you want to add. It's not, you know, anything that has to be done. You don't have to use two colors, three You can use five colors, how many ever you want. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do is add some sparkle. So I have a few different colors of glitter. And you can use whatever kind they have. This is like the, the long piece ones, but you can use any kind and any color you want. And... I'm going to add a little gold. Very little. You don't want to overdo it. And I think that's it. Now what you're going to do is pick out a cabochon that you think will fit best. And what you're going to do is you're going to place it over. Now when you sure that it's covering everything, give it a good push and keep pushing down and you want, want to move it now I'm going to lift it up so you can see do you see how that looks I'm going to try different lights And it has all those colors, kind of like the chloric glass. Okay, now if you get any nail polish, 
If you happen to end up getting any nail polish on top of the cabochon, don't worry about it. Just get a, once it's all done and dry, get a little um, nail polish remover and take it off. Sorry about my tripod. I'm going to zoom in so you can get a good look. And that's what it's going to look like. And now you're going to leave it to dry. And once it's dried enough, there's my other one. And this one's a little darker. The black really makes it look nice. Now I'm going to leave this to dry. And once it's dry, you can you carefully pick it up and cut around it and the nail polish should make it stick to the cabochon pretty good. And then what you're going to do is you're going to place it in a pendant tray. But remember to wait till it's good and dry. Don't be in a rush. You're going to wait for this to be nice and dry. I have one over here that I have already drying. This is a little lighter colored. And you can keep pushing down for more like texture and print. And say you did this and you don't like what it looks like, take it off and clean it with some nail polish remover, wash it with some soap and water, and then get some uh, paper towel or a smooth cloth and wipe it off with some alcohol, rubbing alcohol for the shine. So I got some nail polish on this one and I'm gonna clean it up. So you don't have to worry about this is this one that I did. It's a little bit lighter. I'll put it under the lighting. Move you in closer. I'm sorry about my tripod. I should have used my other tripod. This one's a little loose when you push it down. This is my webcam one. And this one, I'm really liking the colors. And see, I gave it more texture in this one. Now you see the coloring in that? The darker colors work really nice, so keep that in mind, and use some glitter. This is the one that I did earlier, but you see, it, it didn't have as much texture because I didn't have it as crinkly. That's why I left this, the darker one, more crinkly. So we'll do another one, and these will dry. So you see now I got like a piece like this. It could, you can cut it in half if you don't want to waste it. Cut it in half. You don't have to be particular. Okay, so we're doing this again. So now you're going to take a piece of foil once again, crinkle it up, but don't make it into a ball, okay? Don't make it into a ball. Sorry about my nails been crafting for the past few weeks so I haven't had a chance to even tend to them. I tend to like them less smoothed out. There you go. So now it might rip in some places but that's not a big deal because as you can see you're not going to use the whole piece of foil. But you might if you're making a whole bunch at once and like I said you definitely want to make sure they're dry so give it a good even though it's nail polish, there's a couple of layers underneath mixed with glitter. So give it an hour or two. The glass, big glass cabochons come in a bunch of different shapes like. This is a bigger cabochon, so don't make a mistake and get the smaller ones. And don't get the mirrored ones. Otherwise, if you get the mirrored ones, you paint the back, you'll never see what you painted. See, see the ones that best fit in. This one's too small. Sometimes you got to go through the package, okay, to see. And now what you're going to do is you can either smooth it out or leave it with all this texture. I like it with the texture, but if you want to um, have it a little smoother, if you want this a little smoother, you can just roll like either a round nail polish or a jar or a roller and see how that looks that's just for a finer look so if you want to see what you'd like best take your glass cabochon put it on the smoother side and then take it and put it on the bumpier side and see how you'd like that texture you can do it either way you want I happen to like it a little thicker 
So we're going to take some black, like I said, just nail polish, and kind of go around in a circle because you're going to put your cabbage on there, okay? And you don't have to be neat about it, just kind of haphazardly, you know, a little darker on one side. There you go. And you don't really even have to do much. You could do one color and then the foil and then that's it. So now I'm looking for, probably this one will just be two colors. Not sure. So I'm going to add a little more black to this. Mine uh, that the paint does separate when you push down with the glass cabbage on. Okay. So you want to make sure you get a good perimeter. Okay, now I'm going to add a little more red to the center because I don't think it's there's enough red. This is a little bit lighter. There we go. Add a little glitter. I'm going to add some red glitter, of course. And I don't care if it falls on the outside. And then I'm going to add a little, it's going to add a little silver, but maybe a little gold. Like that. Now, you could also add a little glitter nail polish to it as well, wherever you want. But I don't want to do that right now with this. Okay, now we're going to go over, and I'm going to zoom in. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to give you this good view, which is hard because I have the tripod in the way. So what you're going to do is you're going to place this over it, okay? So here we go. We're going to position, drop, it doesn't have to be perfect, and just push down. See? See how that looks? And make sure all the colors are there. Oops. Let's see, that looks nice. See that? That's it. And I'm now I'm just going to let it dry. And then when it's done, I'm going to cut it out. And then I'm going to stick it in a, a pendant tray. So that's it, really. And that's all you have to do. Just wait for it to dry. And once it's dry, cut it out. Now I'm going to look at this one and I'm going to cut this one out. So the back. And that's what it's going to look like now. I ripped it off too soon just to give you an idea. And that's what this should have been covered with foil, but it's okay. I just wanted to give you an idea because you're going to just then put it in a pendant tray. Okay. So this one I'm going to clean off and I'll show you how it looks, how this will look all cleaned up again. And here it is, good as new again, nice and clean. I, wa I cleaned it with the nail polish remover, washed it with soap and water, shined it up and it's ready to go for redoing it again. But that's it, that's all you have to do. I really like how this one turned out. And then this one too, this one's smoother. So remember, if you want a little more texture under it, don't smooth it out. If you want a little less texture, then you can smooth it out. And you could also add some cella glitter to it. But the more you push down, see, the more you push down, the more you can see the foil like that and I think I like that the paint kind of spreads so are you seeing that it kind of gives it like a pattern and some of the color goes away but the color is there it almost looks like there, almost looks like leaves inside there or a floral pattern and I'm gonna leave it like that so that's it and I hope you like that and you can use metallic so you could even use metallic paints and do the same thing or metallic type of nail polishes. I would say stick to nail polish because otherwise you can't use a nail polish remover to take it off if you mess with it. And I really like that. And so I'm going to leave it like that.
it gives it a little more character and depth to it. So that's going to dry and I'm going to push this one down a little so it doesn't look so flat and boring. I'm just going to push down. Now look, see some of the metal-y is coming through. Look, and that's how that looks on there. And that's what they look like finished. And this is what it would look like inside of a pendant tree. I have a lot of windows so you can get some daylight. My cat has decided to help me, right Salem? And so did Rudy. Right Rudy? So that's what it looks like in a pendant tray. And this is what it's going to look like from behind. Now I waited a whole day for this to dry, which is best. That's it. I hope you like this quick, easy, affordable craft. If you have any questions, just ask me in the comment section. And uh, please like this video, subscribe if you haven't, click the bell for future notifications. And check out the rest of my DIY crafts on my DIY crafts playlist on my channel, which is my first playlist on my channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.